Hey everybody, it's Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys how to do some laser effects. So first of all, let me show you guys an example here quickly. So I'm going to show you guys how to do something like this using After Effects and also a plugin by Trapcode called Form. First of all, this is not a free plugin, but I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check it out. And I think there's also a free trial that you can download if you want to play around with it. Okay, so in After Effects, you're going to create a new composition. I'm going to make mine 30 seconds long. Click OK. And then I'm going to create a new solid. And click OK. And then you right click on the solid, go to Effects, go to Trap Code and click on Form. This will open up the plugin that we'll be working with. So first of all, you're going to go to the base form because this will open up with the default settings. And what we're going to be doing is extend the size in the X axis. And then what we can do is decrease the particles in Y. Let's just make that about three. That's fine. And you can also decrease the particles in Z. Let's make that one. And then we can increase the particles in X until we get something looking like lines going across the screen. The next thing we're going to do is create a camera so we can actually view this in a 3D view. So right click new camera, click OK, that's fine. And then what I usually have to do is if I go to my layer and on the camera and you go to transform, auto orient and you select the third option then it will actually fix the panning issue that I sometimes see within After Effects. So as you can see we can pan around it to get a nice view of our laser. So if we go back to our solid we can go back to the form settings and the first thing we're going to do is go to disperse and twist. So let's up the twist a bit and what we can also do is we can extend under base form the size in the x-axis just to make it a bit longer. Okay, that's looking good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the particle settings and change some of the stuff here. This is how the actual particles will look like. So first of all, let's change the color. Let's make this one like a light green. We can then increase the size, maybe do something like that. And maybe play around a bit with a size random, just to give it some, some random look. And what we're going to do next is go to Fractal Field. And we're going to change the effect size to 1. And then we're going to up the flow in the X direction. Let's make this about 1000. That will just add movement in the x-axis of the laser. So if we play this back, we should start to see some flowing going on here. Slight flowing. So we can maybe increase the effect size to around 10. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is we would like to have this laser fade in in the x-axis so it must actually fade in from the one side and then must stay on and then fade off again towards the other side so the way we do that with form is using layer maps so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our project create a new composition just call this map and inside this map we're going to create a new solid I'm just going to make it white and then we're going to look for a preset called Linear Wipe. And just drag that onto the solid. So this just gives you a very basic wipe. It actually just wipes on and it stays on. So what we want is something that fades on from this side and then fades off to that side. So if we go into the settings, go into Effects, Linear Wipe, Transition Completion, you'll see there's a keyframe that actually completes the linear wipe. So zoom in a bit. So what we want to do is copy this keyframe. That's the time that the laser is actually going to stay on. And then copy the first keyframe and let's paste it around there. 
So what you'll see will happen is it will fade on, stay on, and then it will fade off towards that side again. Now that's not really what we want. We want it to fade on from this side, fade off towards that side. So the way to achieve that is you go after it's faded on, create a keyframe where you see wipe angle, which is minus 90. Move a little bit forward, create a new keyframe with 90 degrees, and then it will actually fade off towards that side. So if you view it from the start, fades on, fades off. Perfect. Another thing we can do is up the feather a bit. Let's make it 200, just to give it a nice soft edge. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this comp, go back to the original comp, drag in that map comp into this one, and you can hide that layer. Okay, so next we go back to our solid, which is the form plugin. Go to the settings, go to layer maps, and we're going to select that layer that or the, the layer that we created called map and we're going to tell it to use the alpha so it actually fades on using the alpha from the one side towards the other side and we want to map over the x and y axes so if we play this now perfect you can see it fades on stays on for a bit and then it fades off again exactly what we want Okay, now to start building different layers inside the laser to make it look a little bit better. So all you have to do is you go to this one layer, we can give it a name, let's call it light green. Then you can duplicate that layer. So now we can just change the settings of the second layer. Let's make this one, let's see here. Uh, let's go to base form change the size a bit let's make it smaller let's change this to maybe like an orange maybe something like that and let's change the particles in z to only one just to have like a center beam going on and also put that one underneath the first layer so it's underneath these beams and we can rename it maybe to core and another thing we can do is go to disperse and twist change the twist settings let's make it five go to fractal field mm. change the evolution to anything else and if you play it now you'll have something that looks like a core of the laser going on there so all you have to do now is duplicate the layer, give it a name, let's call it red, go to the particle settings, change the color to red, and let's change some of the settings. Let's make this one quite big. Let's go to the, let's go to this person twist, change the twists, maybe just to about just about three or so, maybe a little bit smaller, something like that. And we can go to disperse. And that actually breaks that layer apart, so it's not like a straight line. And let's go to the particle settings, maybe make it smaller particles. Sorry, that's the feather. Make it a bit smaller here. Maybe something around four. Change it to glow sphere. Up that a bit. Pasty down a bit. Something like that. Okay, we can actually change the green uh, layer to be a bit smaller. So let's go to light green. Expand it. Base form decrease the size maybe something like that let's just get a particle change the green to a little bit of a more greenish color there we go and core let's change that to something more yellow orange okay see there's actually a green core in the middle as well so if we go to that 
and we change the particles in Y to only two. That's it. So that's looking looking quite interesting. So let's play that back quickly. We just center this. There you go. One interesting looking laser. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Twitter. That's at Ruan Lotter, R-U-A-N-L-O-T-T-E-R. Cheers, cheers.